Hey YouTube, how's it going? It is Will or Jim Sauce, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a guide on how to set up open broadcast software, aka OBS, or you know, otherwise known as another streaming program. It's kind of like XSplit, uh, but it, it's free, you know, for everything. There's nothing you have to pay for. Um, it, it's personally what I use all the time. Um, I, in the past, have had a lot of problems with XSplit um, as far as actually getting key logged uh, from from XSplit. So I do not recommend using that. I mean, if you want to, you can. A lot of people still do use it. You know, that's up to you. Just in the past, I have not had that great of experience with XSplit. And OBS is just a lot better, in my opinion. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you're going to be seeing is nothingness. All right, you're not going to have anything set up. You're not going to know what to do. So we're going to start off with a random scene. Now, say you guys want to go and start adding some things to it. So you might want to add a game. Now, you can either do a window, monitor, or game capture. Uh, personally, I use game capture most of the time. You can use whatever you want, uh, but I'm going to show you guys game capture. So you can just call it whatever you want. Uh, if you guys know me, if you guys aren't subscribed to this channel, I do mainly RuneScape videos. So that is what I'm going to be capturing. All right. So you want to make sure capture mouse cursor. If you want, when you want to click, if you want it to invert to like the black and white mouse, you can invert the cursor if you want. Um, I always put stretch image to screen just because it helps. Uh, you can change this to whatever. Really, you, you can ignore that. Um, and then it'll show applications. You want to go ahead and, and choose one. Um, and I'm going to be choosing RuneScape. So you click OK. And there you go. It's going to break up the screen, and you're going to notice that there's black bars on the side. Uh, to get rid of that easy, you just click Edit Scene, hold down Shift, and then you could just slide this around. Bam. All right. And then you could take this, slide it. All right. And then just, you know, you can mess with that until you get everything the right way you want it and everything. Uh, that's not going to be too... Uh, too hard to do let me just resize this real quick all right so you guys get that main point so then we're gonna come down here you probably want to add a webcam so you can add a video capture device um, it's gonna bring up a whole list of options for you mine is the Logitech HD webcam C310 I want to upgrade that actually um, but this is what I'm gonna be using you can custom resolution you can do whatever you want um, I recommend you mute the audio on the webcam unless that is the only form of audio you have then I guess that's what you're gonna have to use uh, and then click OK, and then you guys are going to see me, bam! All right, so there I am. Uh, you can size that down any way you want. You can throw that over there. You know, you can make it bigger. You can put it over here. Whatever you want, you can just size that around. Uh, and then something I like to do is sometimes I'll like to add a border. So you can go to image. You can add in a border if you want. Uh, really anything that you please. You can add in text. Uh, you can choose here. Uh, you want to open that up, enter whatever you want, and just add an, out an outline choose a text whatever this is and then bang and it's gonna be on there besides however you want a lot of people like to do that to you know like add donations or different messages you want to leave for people and that's cool you can do whatever um, and then too much uh, anything else on here CLO browser that is for more advanced users for OBS you're not gonna be worrying about that um, the image slideshow you can add that if you want to add in like Facebook Twitter links and stuff you want that to automatically refresh but other than that that's not really anything you're gonna need uh, the window capture is something you may want to do. Um, you can subregion something off, select the region. But other than that, you're not going to really need to worry about that. So that's self-explanatory. The main point, the porn, po the main porn, the main point of this is to show you guys like different settings that you're going to be able to use. So let's go into these settings and general, just English, unless you are a different language, you can pick something else. Um, and then encoding, this is huge, okay? Now to figure out what your bitrate should be set on, you wanna go to speedtest.net. Um, you wanna change the settings to from megabytes, I think it's like megabytes, megabits, kilobytes, and kilobits. You wanna change your settings to kilobytes. You're gonna go onto the website, you're gonna take a test, and there's a little settings option. You wanna press the settings, um, and you're gonna choose kilobytes. And whatever that number is for upload, you wanna change that number into here. So, you know, I, I think I can go up to like, 1700 this is just like basic settings this is probably what you're going to be seeing when you first download obs uh quality balance you can change that uh if you want to change that you just uncheck this and then change it around uh, but you need to make sure that this bit rate is set to something that you know you can handle all right you don't want to set it to something that is going to end up like screwing you over in the long run you know because you want to make sure you can set that to something your internet can handle or else you're going to be having a lot of drop frames you're going to have a lot of issues streaming uh, the audio encoding, you can just keep it set to 128. Uh, anything else, you might screw it up. I know I tried to set it higher, and it messed some, some stuff up. So make sure you're encoding. The bit rate is the best thing here. All these other things, you can pretty much ignore. The quality balance, you can set as high as you want. You can set it to 10. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. 
So you want to go over to broadcast settings, all right? And this is where it gets a little tricky. Uh, you want to make sure your mode is on live stream. You can file output. That is called recording. That's basically a recording mode. You can record with OBS. Um, your streaming service, obviously Twitch slash Justin TV. Your server, you pick whatever you want. Personally, I pick the the Virginia one just because a lot of people in my area will probably pick the New York. Uh, so to you know relieve myself a little bit from that, I pick the Virginia. But pick as location. That's all I can say. As wherever you are, pick. Um, this is where you're going to put your stream key. To get your stream key, you want to go to your Twitch dashboard, um, and that's going to show you, it's going to be a little spot for a stream key. Do not show your stream key to anybody, that no matter what. I, I sound like, you know, a moderator on a game, you know, employees will never ask you for your password. Do never show anybody your stream key, all right? Do not show anybody that, because if they have your stream key, they can enter it onto their uh, program and basically stream on your account, which is something that you can do if you authorize them to, but you don't want random people doing that. So everything else you can keep the same. Auto reconnect 10, you can set it to 5 if you want, it really doesn't matter. Now video, if you have a video adapter or aka graphics card, it's going to show that up here. Uh, you can custom, my monitor is a 1080p monitor and I resolution downscale it to 720 just because you don't really need 1080p for the games that I do. Uh, but personally, I'm actually going to increase mine to, to 1080, basically downscaling it. Whatever this is set to is what quality you're going to be streaming in. So if you have sent 720, you're going to be streaming 720p. If you have it on 480, you're going to be streaming 480p. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. You want to have it on fastest just because it's, it's going to be good for you. Um, a lot of people argue that the human eye can't see past 30 FPS, so if you want to leave it on 30, that's fine. A lot of people like to go for 60, and that's fine as well. It's just personal preference, whatever you're going to be able to handle, all right? Do not stress yourself. Do not make sure, do not over, you know, overdo your stream. You know, do it on something that you can handle so you can have as smooth of a stream as possible, all right? You don't want to, you know, make it more than it has to be because people really aren't going to get too upset. You know, if it's really blurry, people will tell you about it. But if it's if it's avoidable, then just put it on something that you're going to be able to handle yourself. Uh, so then we can move on to audio. Audio, uh, my desktop and my microphone is actually through my Yeti microphone. My Yeti microphone has a built-in sound card to it, so that's why I'm able to use it for both. Uh, but it will not show this for you. You're probably going to have like default system speakers or something like that. It'll just say default or real tech, whatever your audio uh, manager is. Um, and then just choose that. Your microphone, whatever microphone you use, if you have a headset, look for your headset. If you have a, you know, a, a studio microphone, look for your microphone. Uh, but other than that, you can ignore everything else on here. Um, if you seem to have like some kind of delay, this is where you would mess with it here. Uh, but you should not have delay if your settings are correct. So advanced, this is where uh, it gets a little sketchy. Uh, right down here, this is the main thing you want to focus on. Keyframe interval, you want to set that to a 2. All right. If it says 0, change it to 2. If it says 43, make sure it says 2. All right. Nothing else, just 2. Uh, your encoding profile should be on main, and your CPU preset must be on very fast. Anything else uh, can cause a lot of, of problems on the stream that you don't want to deal with. Uh, scene buffering time, 700. Just leave that. Pretty much you want to leave everything on default except change these three settings to make sure they say uh, what mine says and then you should be uh, you should be on your merry way other than that everything else should be okay uh, browser and microphone noise gate these are two different things microphone noise gate is basically say you have a loud keyboard uh, personally I have a black widow it is pretty loud um, and you're able to actually record your widow sound and then put it in this noise gate and turn it down so people whenever you type um, obviously in real life it'll be the same noise to you but people on the stream will hear it softer to whatever you set it as so that is really helpful um, I can't really give you an in-depth guide to that because I don't use it um, I know how to use it but it's not it's not something a lot of people usually mess with but other than that those are like the main settings you know just go back and look at anything that you know I may have you know missed for you um, but yeah that's pretty much it you know you can add your webcam in you can add your game capture in um, Right down here, it'll show how long you're streaming. Uh, to stop the preview, you can just click stop, and then it will stop. Previewing the stream will show what the stream would look like if you were to start it right now. My mouse keeps on double clicking for some reason. Uh, but yeah, everything will save. You know, if you close out of OBS and open it back up, everything will still remain the same. Um, down here, you want to make sure that your FPS is set to where you have it. Um, and if this green box starts to go to like orange, yellow, red, then your your bitrate that you set is too high that your internet can handle. So you want to make sure that that is kept to you know a minimum to whatever you are able to handle 
yourself and your internet is okay with. So uh, that's my little guide for OBS. If you guys did enjoy, remember to leave a like down below. If there's anything else that I missed, please leave it in the comment section. I would love to help you guys out and make sure that everything is correct for you guys so that we have you know everything on the right page. I don't want to miss anything that is going to screw up your stream. Just let me know. I will help you out as much as I can. Um, and in the future, within you know, the next couple of days, I'm actually going to be releasing a video giving you guys tips and tricks on how to start off your stream, how to keep everything going, how to get more viewers, how to get more followers, everything like that. I'm going to help you guys out there. So if you guys enjoy, like I said, maybe a like down below. And other than that, guys, take it easy. Peace.